Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm getting the 347 stroker all together now, and um, I now have identification markings mm -hmm. after the balance and, and which direction it goes. And um, I'm going to talk about this and show you this real quick. I was running a forged I beam scat rod before. This was a fully forged assembly with the I beam rods. For me to change from the I-beams to the H-beams, the cylinders had to be notched. Now, when I did this swap, I also had to rebalance the assembly. So it was expensive doing this H-beam rod swap and making it fully forged. I mean, it was forged before, but forged with the H-beam rods, all the goodies that we want. So, um, now with the issue of these... They're identical on both sides. Do you see? So it doesn't matter which way you put the I-beam rods. Now with these H-beam rods, I'm going to show you with another one then pull out. One has a more flatter edge. So two of the rods ride together. And the other side will have a chamfered edge. So you got to make sure these edges are correct inside the motor. So along with the number and the label, and this is another H-beam rod, a different one. What's right there is SCAT with ARP stuff as well. But this is an identical 347 rod I'm showing you. So as you can see, the chamfer here is a little bit different. Now that has to be correct or you'll damage some stuff. You see here's the outside piece. This has to go to the outside. This smoother piece has to go together against the other rod. Now if you get this chamfer messed up, you're going to make mistakes. There's going to be issues with your motor. So this is an important thing going with H-beam rods to know this. So I'm going to show you what I'm going, what I'm doing. Um, <clears throat> now the H-beam rods, here's number one, number five. Number two, three, four, six, seven, and eight there. Now, they're all facing forward. So this being the front of the motor and this being the back of the motor. So as you can see on these, the chamfered edge on one through four is going to be on this inside area here. That's that's not where this has this edge. This big thick edge will be back here. The smoother side where they run up against the other H beam rods will be right here. Okay, now on number five to corresponding to number eight, this chamfered uh the smooth part where it rides to the other rod is gonna be on the inside. I think. Hold on. No, it's going to be on the back side as well, I believe. Yeah, it's going to be on the back side here. So it's going to be here, 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 and here should be the chamfered side. Um, and then the, the, the side with the edge, the groove... should be toward the outside um so if that shows you anything um i just wanted to sh point that out because if you don't have that correct it'll be mistake so now i have everything balanced and lined up i've double checked that everything's good with the rods and orientation and now I'm ready to put a few last plugs in and build. But I just wanted to point that out to somebody else that's building a stroker. Maybe they might not know. But to do this correctly, you know, it's got to be done right. So like, subscribe, and share. And as always, keep on dreaming.